Chapman here again with a quick update on my 66 Corvette for the box stock build that DJ Scratchy and Chevy Cheeseburger's doing. Again, want to thank them for putting this on. It's got my uh, creative juices flowing again, and I was going to basically take this car here, use that acrylic paint. It's the uh, metallic, oh, uh, whatever color it is. Uh, blue sapphire that's what it was <laughs> i've got the car completely sanded from 400 grit all the way up to 2000 grit smooth as can be all of my parts here are all sanded the body the interior tub i've got my uh, chrome foil bare metal foil i'll put on the scent here so that it's all ready to go I'm gonna spray the interior uh dark gray going to be using these two acrylic paints, gloss, dark gray, and light gray. Kind of mix it up in there. Then I'm going to be doing a wood texture on the dash. And i got my steering wheel here where I've used the uh, wood texture. And I might darken that up a little bit. doesn't quite, I don't know, we'll look at it. But that's the cool thing is I've got plenty of time to look at it. I've got everything here kind of taken care of and done. This has all been cleaned up, metalizer on it, aluminum, and went ahead and put the uh, wash on it. Kind of detailed it. I've got my suspension pieces here all taken care of. I went and used this steel so that I kind of did a little bit of dry brushing on it, make it look like it's a little bit worn and stuff. Did it also on here. You can kind of see how it's coming out with, hopefully that's coming through clear enough, but you can see the steel and everything on it to show there's some wear and tear on it. I like to do the, uh, driven kind of style a little bit of weathering and worn out look and as clean and shiny and nice as this body's going to turn out hopefully i'm going to have to use the uh, undercarriage and stuff to do my weathering and things make it look like it's actually been driven got the motor all done i did the uh, transmission and steel oil pan and aluminum metalizers the uh, upper part here, the main block and heads are going to end up being a uh, dark gray color. Again, I will be spraying it with this acrylic dark gray, match the interior. Uh, the uh, instructions are kind of say a light gray, but I think a darker gray is going to be better. And gloss black for the engine compartments and firewall and all that stuff. So, I'm kind of taking a little bit of a turn on this I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this acrylic paint for the body but I've decided I want to kind of snazzy this up a little bit I have a real hard time just doing one solid simple paint scheme um, I really like getting into weathering them I do a bunch of rusty vehicles chop vehicles and I do shiny vehicles and things that are two-tone and stuff, but really nothing radical. Um, this one here, I'm going to go radical on it. So I'll kind of keep it a surprise because <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to work. But I do need to get to the store here the next day or two and pick up some more metallic colored paints so that I can kind of snazzy up the paint job on this make it a little bit more flashy so that's kind of my update right now i have everything clean washed sanded body's been sanded from 400 grit to 1500 or 2000 grit and stuff smooth as can be so i am going to go ahead and set up my airbrush and get some uh of the main color down and stuff and get this thing going and hopefully here in a couple of days I'll have the other paints together and be able to kind of do some more and get this thing wrapped up here by the end of the week. Well, thanks for watching. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Go Niners! Bye. Bye.